Good morning, and welcome to Great Man Welcome. Today's day 10. It's about 8 o'clock. Actually, it warmed up a little bit last night. It's up to 49. So, I got about 8 miles to go today. Uh, to Dick's Creek Gap. First thing I gotta do is go up about 2 miles and get some water. A little low on water. Not that there wasn't plenty falling out of the sky yesterday. But, uh, I decided to wait until then to fix my breakfast and get a little walk in and then use breakfast for a break. So, since yesterday's video was so short of content, I thought I'd just add a couple more details this morning. I knew it was going to rain like that, but I kind of wanted to come out and see how I could get along in it. Uh, I've tried to think through and prepare. Um, I had rain gear. Didn't really help much other than holding some of the heat in. I had waterproof gloves that were full of water. And really it was kind of sketchy to come up over 4,000 feet on Trey Mountain in those kind of conditions. If you'd uh, turned an ankle or done something like that, it, it might have been a little hard to rescue yourself, but I just kind of wanted to test myself because I knew I'd be going back to around the bend hostel uh, tonight. I kind of made an error in my travel plans. I should have stayed out here for five nights straight. Um, instead of going to around the bend after three nights. Um, I'm going to have to get a little better at planning, a little better at looking ahead. Because uh, when I leave in the morning, there's about a 40 mile stretch to Franklin with no good resupply points. Um, so I, the plan is to do that in four days, so I'll do four 10 mile days. So I need to go back to the hostel tonight and resupply, make sure I got enough for that push. Everything I got is wet. Uh, if I was out here and had to spend another night out here, it'd be pretty tough. But I've got dry clothes on now, but I wouldn't have anything necessarily for tonight. So out here living and learning, you know, that's the old saying, you live and learn, well, some of us just live. So, just a little add to yesterday's clips. Appreciate you guys following along. It's time to get walking. Such a contrast from this morning to last night. It's calm, no wind, quiet, beautiful morning. A little more on last night. When I began setting up camp, I could barely keep my tarp controlled. I worried about if I could even keep it over me. Last night, the wind was so strong. I ended up putting large rocks on each one of my stakes. I I had put the tarp pretty low to the ground on the side the wind was coming from. Uh, and it was trying to push it even into the ground. So I used my trekking poles to help stabilize it. Uh, and it literally did not stop raining. And just about before I got up this morning. Somewhere it stopped maybe around 5.30 or 6. But every time I woke up last night it was still coming down. But all in all, everything worked out well. So, glad for the experience. Glad to see how everything went and what I learned.
gonna say a couple more things about yesterday and then I'm gonna shut up about it. But uh, the trail, this river, thought it could have been in Vermont or New Hampshire or Maine. They were running full of water. Uh, after about mile one, I never even took my backpack off. If I wanted to eat something, I just kind of lean into a tree and use my head to keep my food dry. Uh, it was just a, it was an interesting day. You just put your head down and went. Um, Each morning when I start out after I do my intro, I have to kind of remind myself to take it slow, let the body warm up, let your muscles warm up, ease into the day. I'm trying to do everything out here I can to keep my body up, but it's been a challenge. It's been a challenge to eat enough. It's been a challenge to drink enough. Um... I will say, a lot of people have been using Element, and uh, I tried it for the first time. My son and daughter-in-law actually gave me some before I left, and uh, it was raspberry, and it tasted really good. It made you want to drink water, so I'll probably try to make sure I include enough electrolytes in my water to help me as well but I'm really going to have to figure out more calories but got time I'm having to take a little blue blaze down to get some water I've been fortunate so far all the water I've had to collect on the trail has been right beside the trail. Don't know how far down we got to go here, but I gotta have it. It's just so peaceful out here. Turns out that was only exactly one tenth down and one tenth back, so that wasn't too bad. I'm gonna fix myself a little breakfast. I uh, saw a tea party again today. Haven't seen him, I guess, since day two. It's funny how people come and go around you. Goodbye to the Tree Mountain Wilderness.
Here's one of the typical trail side camping spots you'll see along the way. There's always somewhere to pull off and stop if you need to. Climbing up to the top of Kelly Knob. It's 41. 100 and change right after the, the exit tray mount wilderness pretty pretty good climb most of these climbs in Georgia haven't been terrible some of them are intense for short bursts but this is a pretty long one uh, coming out of Unicoi Gap seemed to be the longest to me maybe Blood Mountain's longer I'm not sure that day was so pretty I don't think I was thinking about it the climb so much but uh should definitely get your lungs built up strengthen the legs all right let's make it over the top still haven't had much of a real clear view but for now, looking through the trees, it's going to have to do. Well, back at the hostel around the bend. Got in here a little bit before four. Uh, took a shower, washed my clothes, hung up my quilts and hammock, and tarp to dry a little bit on the line they have outside the building. Didn't take but just a few minutes to get little bit of moisture out of them. I had a good supper. Talked with some of the people here. Some of them I've seen before. Some of them hadn't. This is kind of the last stop. Last service, if you will. Before Franklin, North Carolina. It's about 100 miles. So I went ahead and resupplied. I showed you a picture of that. Just before this, that should get me four days. So through most all of Georgia, I've tried to do eight mile days and now I'm going to step it up to 10 miles to get to Franklin and then I'll make my plans from there. It was a good day today. I uh, saw a tea party again. Uh, haven't seen him since the second day. Uh, saw a couple section hikers uh, that were from Panama City, Florida. Uh, they knew about some of the things that I used to do. They've got a channel about some old equipment. And we all knew some of the brands. It's interesting to talk to someone. I didn't think I'd meet anybody on the AT that knew what a Barco knuckle boom loader was. But I did. Other than that, everything worked good. Sun came out. I had a heavy pack of wet clothes. So I was really glad to get here and do the laundry. So tomorrow we're taking off on a four-day stretch. No real way to get out or get any kind of resupply. So we're just going to have to show up in Franklin in about four days. All right, we'll see you in the morning.